Shalom, Shalom. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, coming back at you guys with another article from uh, NPR.org. Uh, updating on what's going on with the Northern Kingdom, man. <laughs> That so-called leader down there has a response to the uh, to the famine that the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is bringing upon that place and it's rabbits, man. Uh, let, let, let's get into this article real quick. Let them eat rabbit is Venezuelan president's response to food shortages. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro has unveiled an unusual strategy to help ease the chronic food shortage faced by many of his nation's 30 million people. Something he calls Plan Conejo or Plan Rabbit. Maduro and his ministers are embarking on a somewhat surprising and to many alarming campaign to convince Venezuelans to eat rabbits. They say rabbits will make an excellent source of protein for the large number of people who don't have regular access to red meat or chicken as a result of the country's economic crisis. Collapse. It's like you. Uh, I'm going to stop right there, man. <clears throat> so, this, this made me think of uh, once this uh, martial law hits and these concentration camps are in effect, the, uh, <laughs> what's going to be on the menu is things like this, man, along with all other kind of abominable foods, man. In our law as Hebrew Israelites, we are not to eat rabbit. And I'm going to prove it right now. Let's get it. Come now, Leviticus chapter 11, uh, verse 6, I believe. Yeah, verse 6. Leviticus 11 and 6. And the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hoof. He is unclean unto you. Now, Leviticus 11 is a chapter that goes into the dietary law of things uh, and animals <clears throat> that we can eat and that we cannot eat. Things that are clean and unclean. Meat that is lawful and that is not lawful. And a rabbit is unlawful because it is unclean to us. Now, I'm going to prove to you that a hare as it says in the scripture, is a rabbit. Well, let's get that. It's common sense, really. No, would you look at that? Hair. Here's some pictures of some hairs. Look at this one right here. Look at that one right there, boy. Oh yeah, look, look at these. These are rabbits. Hares. Right? Now it says hares and jackrabbits are leopards belonging to the Guinness Lepus. Hares are classified into the same families, into the same family as rabbits. They are similar in size and form to rabbits and eat the same diet. And so there it is. So as it says in let's get it in, as it says in the law, and the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. So why is this president? Offering, and I'm pretty sure he knows the people he's uh, governing are Israelites, man. So why is he offering meat that is unlawful to eat to the masses, man? Because he's a devil. And this is going to be uh, increase in the world, man. And once the Lord start jack hammering this uh, this judgment, he's about to lay down on the earth, man. So yeah. He, you northern tribes, man, you yeah, you guys are gonna catch holy hell, man. 
those of you who are, who are numbered to the two-thirds, man, you're going to catch holy hell, man. So once again, to the Negro, to the Latino, to the Native American, those bywords you like to uh, uphold, you need to repent to your true power, man, your Hawabash and your Hawashad, and turn back to your, your heritage, man, because the time is drawing short, and judgment is nigh, man. So I just want to close out, just, just, just to give you guys an update, man. This is about to get live out here. Uh, Shalom wa to the hopeful elect, double honors to apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Being diligent to the best of their ability, man. Shalom.